What's up Starlight Aquatics? This is Danny coming back at you again. I'm going to be going over water clarity. Uh, water clarity is a big deal in the hobby and a lot of things are overlooked and what I'm thinking is that maybe you guys are you know falling for the gimmicks and all the the hoopla I guess you would call it you know the basically hey buy this um uh, uh, what's that called the, the people uh, basically you get sucked into buying these products that do their job but they're not as efficient as they could be or what you're basically looking for uh if you want a crystal clear and I mean crystal clear like this, crystal clear water, what you need to do is you need to over filtrate. But however, and this is a planted tank, I need to get more, I need to get more plants, I know. I've dumbed it down on my plants because I'm changing things and, and whatnot. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of different things going into the tank and 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 whatnot but uh filtration filtration is key now this tank has housed a lot of different fish and a lot of different things have been in here plants uh i've had different species of plants i've changed them out you know tried this did that changed it up that's all part of the game, you know. In the hobby, we like to do different things and change it up a little bit. But what I'm here to tell you is that for basically next to nothing, and if you go back in my videos and I'll show you how to make these bullet filters is what I call it. Um, it's a super means of filtering your tank and filtering it quickly getting all of that uh you know small little particles out of your tank that are floating and and you just seem like you can never get it clear you can never get it clean or why does my water look like this and oh my gosh you know and and I'm going to show you basically how with the bullet filter that I've shown you in the previous videos if you haven't seen that video yet please click like and subscribe because there's a lot of videos that are going to be coming up uh, to show you little things like this in the future. Also with the changes in the tank, you know, I'm just a hobbyist just like many of you. I have a love for the fish game, but uh, polyfill, you can get this stuff at Walmart. You can get this stuff pretty much anywhere. Just make sure that it says a hundred percent polyester filling and uh, basically this stuff is going to be your saving grace right here polyfill big bag it's like one pound bag for like eight bucks okay all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a little out okay now this is polyfill it's the same stuff that's in your pillows it's the same stuff that you see in teddy bears don't go out ripping your teddy bears apart or your pillows apart the stuff is cheap go get a bag go get a bag today guys go grab some it's cheap and with the prices that um you know pet stores and all that you know charge you for all these uh, you know the uh, the I'll show you these guys okay they're just a you know they start out with a little bit of uh, charcoal they you know they go bad whatnot I take them out I take them out I'll rinse them off clean them completely of all the gunk and grime 
and I'll put them back in. Because it helps catch, but it's not my means of of uh of keeping my tank clean at all. I will stick polyfill in on both sides. See? And it catches all this goop and grime. And the thing is, is it's so cheap that you can just pull it out and change the polyfill. And I'm probably going to do that after this video. You know, I stick it in all of them. All of them. I mean, it's still got one in there. But, however, besides that and this thing with like a five foot shot you know it presses five feet of water tension it blows that much across and it's sucking it up and it's going through it's filtrating this tank over rolling over this tank multiple times per hour and then basically what's that what what that is doing is it's pulling all those little itty bitty you know micro whatever you call it you know itty bitty you know specks that float around in your water collagen and it just makes your water look like complete garbage it's pulling it through and it's not only going through the bio media but then it's going through that catching all that inside the polyfill and then I put a little bit at the top now I showed you how to make these in previous videos like I said if you haven't seen how it's done please check the uh, the other videos learn how to make one they're cheap easy the most expensive part is going to be probably about 20 30 bucks for a um, power head not the biggest deal in the world you buy one once you make these you get a soda how many sodas have you gotten you know what i mean and what do you do with the bottle you throw it away well one mountain dew bottle not uh not uh not endorsed by them but uh one pepsi bottle mountain dew bottle whatever bottle whatever soda you may drink whatever that is i'm not uh i'm not endorsed by soda uh <laughs> but uh but I mean, you can reuse these bottles as, you know, if you recycle them, they get reused anyway. So what you do is you make one of these, you stick it on there, you put your media in however you like. You can do it many different ways, uh, many different, uh, um, basically it's however you like. You know, you can do so many different things with these that you can kind of be creative. And that's the awesome part about it. There's nothing set in stone on how right or wrong with those. But look at the water. Look at the water, guys. The water is beautiful, crystal clear, crystal clear. You can see. Now, I'm going to turn on a little bit more lighting to show you. You know, I didn't want it too, too, too bright, but that's full blown all the lights on just looks like they're floating in air now that's what you guys want and i know that's what you want because it's the crystal clear water it's the happy habitat for your fish community look how happy they are look how graceful they are swimming they're not miserable you got to check all your levels. Make sure everything's right. Make sure everything's proper to do this. I actually, I took a gamble because I was like, okay, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to stir up all, literally, and I'm going to say it. I'm going to stir up all the shit and the gunk and the nasty that may be up underneath all all this media and I did I made this water look like ass I mean it was just nasty looked like a mud puddle that you went out and jumped in and then look how clean and clear 
and then it even does wonders get all that stuff out and i mean it's not going to take a couple hours it's going to take a couple days but you know once you start doing that and then getting on that and keep doing your your polyfill changes and then whatnot your tank will stay this way the only thing that you'll have to do is make sure that your ph is right now i use natural regulator a lot of people have asked me what do i use to keep my water perfectly regulated well this is it i already did this uh actually yesterday so i'm not going to do it again i was going to do it in the video um you take a couple scoops of this it, directions are on the bottle uh, and then basically make sure that your uh your ph levels are correct i also use my handy dandy master kit to make sure that all my levels are correct you can't cut corners guys you can't cut corners you got to make sure that your fish are happy healthy and thriving and with uh with that being said you know polyfill use this use this this will be your saving grace eight bucks for one pound of the crap and you know what and i'm telling you like you can basically get a pound of polyfill one whole bag this is going to last you for a while you go out you blow what 16 20 bucks on those those um you know the the cartridge filters they get dirty you throw them away your water still looks like crap oh it's just i i've dealt with this for a long time and i'm like man i look at other people's tanks and i'm like i want that i want it to be crystal clear i want it to look like they're floating you know my aquarium could look so much better than it is and then now i'm just done so much research and comes down to the wire that it's not rocket science it's just you need to be open to try new things and here it is you know but again my water is 82.2 nice tropical nice very nice um gonna basically air you know what uh no i'm not gonna give you guys any of that right now i'm going to give these guys a little something something because they've been such good host on on the show <laughs> eat boys and girls just happy happy fishies and you know it's it, it's just a matter of you know how you're filtrating and how much you're filtrating so until next time guys if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button like the video if this helps you out uh please uh go out and grab yourself some polyfill if you have any questions please ask hit me up if you have any questions uh i'm always here i i love to help a, a fellow hobbyist out and uh until next time hit like subscribe if you haven't i'll see you on the next one thanks guys